How to go for Everest Base Camp Trek Everest Base Camp Trek takes to the backyard of the world-famous Sherpa capital, Namche Bazaar, the Sagarmata National Park, the mightiest viewpoint of Kalapatar and the Everest Base Camp itself. The Everest Base Camp Trek passes through Tengbocha Monastery which is the highest monastery in the Kumbu region. The trek also comes close to four of the world's six tallest peaks, Mount Everest, Mount Lutsa, Mount Makalu, and Mount Cho Ooyu. Overall, nothing beats the thrill that grips trekkers on seeing the power and grace of the mighty mountain up close. As Everest Base Camp Trek is considered quite challenging, we recommend packing only the necessary gears and required equipment. Before embarking in the adventurous journey, you need to be with Sherpa to be at the base camp of the world's tallest mountain. The Way of Trekking to Everest Base Camp the day one of the Everest Base Camp trek begin after arrival in Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal. Generally, after landing at the Tribe Hoovan International Airport, you will be greeted by a representative from your local trekking agency. The local representative will take you to your pre-booked hotel. At the hotel you can take rest and attend a welcome dinner will normally be hosted by your trekking agency. The day two of the trip begins with sightseeing and trek preparation in Kathmandu. During sightseeing, you can make tour around Durbar Square. Pashupati Nath Temple, Swayambhunath Stupa and Budhanath Stupa which are all World Heritage Sites. The Durbar Square sheds light on the life of the royals in ancient times. Pashupati Nath Temple is one of the most important places of pilgrimage for all Hindus. Swayambhunath is also known as the Monkey Temple and Budhanath Stupa is one of the largest stupas in the world. After the short tour of Kathmandu, you can engage with your forthcoming Adventure Trek team members. The third day can be at Lukla from where your real trek begins in the Himalayas. You take an early morning flight to Lukla which is where all Everest treks begin. From Lukla, you start walking on a trail that gradually descends to Cheplung village from where you get a glimpse of Mount Kambila, a sacred mountain which has never been climbed. From Cheplung, you further gradually descend until Facting. At Facting, you can enjoy overnight. The fourth day of the adventurous journey, lands you at Namche Bazaar. The trail facting onwards passes through a pine forest and goes north up the Benkar Valley. While on the trail you cross Dodkoshi River and pass Chamo and Manjo villages before reaching the entrance of the Everest National Park. Further you pass Jersail village and walk alongside of the Dodkoshi and Boatkoshi rivers. And then, you ascend on a steep trail and reach Namche Bazaar which is probably the biggest town in the Everest region. Namche Bazaar is another place for overnight. The fifth day is for acclimatization in Namche Bazaar. Namche Bazaar is also known as Sherpa capital. You can make tour of Namche Bazaar. Namche Bazaar is the primary town of the Everest or Kumbu region and has government offices, ATMs, internet cafes, shops, and restaurants. During the day tour of Namche Bazaar, you can hike up to Sagar Mata National Park from where enjoy the sunrise over the Himalayas including Mount Everest, Lutsa, Nupsi, Amitablam, Tamzirku, Kongd and so on. You can stay overnight at Namche Bazaar before heading to next destination on the trail. The sixth day will be an ascend walk towards Tengbocha village. Tengbocha houses the very famous Tengbocha monastery which is the biggest monastery of the Everest region. It is located within the Sagar Mata National Park which is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The monastery is blessed with panoramic views of the Himalayas, including Mount Everest, Nupsi, Lutsa, Amitablam, and Tamzirku. You can stop for overnight stay at Tengbocha. The seventh day trek heads towards Dingbosh. The descending trail from Tengbocha passes through lush forests of birch, confer and rhododendron trees. On the way, you can admire good views of Mount Everest, Lutsa, and Amitablam. The adventurous journey even crosses Dingbosh to be at Pangbosh. Pangbosh offers the Himalayan vistas and hosts Pangbosh Monastery. After observing Pangbosh Monastery, you can retreat to Dingbosh for overnight stay. Dingbosh is a picturesque village with beautiful barley, potato and buckwheat fields complete with grazing animals dotted along those fields. The eighth day of the trek can be a day for acclimatization in Dingbosh. While in Dingbosh, you can climb a ridge located behind the village and see six of the world's tallest peaks including Lutsa, Makalu, and Cho Ooyu. Of course you cannot ignore the admiring views of Kalatsi and Tabosh peaks. On our northwest you see more Himalayan peaks rising above the Kumbu Kola Valley. Among those peaks, Labuki West, Labuki East and Lutsa are the most dominant. The ninth day trek moves toward Dugla. Dinbosh to Dugla is a relatively short journey. From the beginning of the trek, you can enjoy the company of the mighty Himalayas on all sides. During this short trek you pass the campsite of the first successful Everest expedition in 1953. 
As you continue to Dugley you see Mount Pumori. Dugla is a tiny village with a huge strand of prayer flags hung across the valley. Before overnight stay, you can visit the memorial shrine at Dugla. In the tenth day, you trek towards Labuki for another overnight stay. From Dugla, you ascend to the steep terminal moraine of the Kumbu Glacier. The trail passes through boulder-strewn slopes as you ascend Chupki Lara which is a ridge that provides spectacular mountain views. The top of the ridge is filled with prayer flags and stones which are memorial shrines for climbers who lost their lives on Mount Everest. As the trail drops to the Kumbu Glacier Moraine, you find yourself facing several great peaks including Kambutsi, Lingtren, Pumori and Mahalingar Hamal. While crossing Kumbu Glacier you can also see Mount Nupsi. In the 11th day, you will be at Everest Base Camp and stay overnight at Gorak Shep. The trekking to Everest Base Camp is not very difficult. However, you need to ascend and descend mostly on a glacier path. There is also a lot of meandering on rough terrains. The moment you reach the Everest Base Camp, you can see the incredible melting patterns and admire the gently rounded ice towers on the upper part of the Kumbu Glacier. The Everest Base Camp is stunningly beautiful. You can enjoy amazing views of Nupsi, Kumbust and Pumori Mountains from the base camp. After enjoying the beauty of Himalayan views, you walk back towards Gorak Shep. The twelfth day will be epic day in the Himalayas. It will be the day for trekking to Kalapatar. The early morning trek from Gorak Shep towards Kalapatar will be walk on a steep trail at a comfortable pace. As you climb up the hill you can see Lingtren, Kambutsi, and Changtse Mountains. The view from the summit is exceptional. You can see the world's tallest mountain Everest along other mighty Himalayan peaks. After spending some time at the summit of Kalapatar, you walk back to Gorak Shep. From Gorak Shep, trekkers generally descend to Farish to spend the night. The thirteenth day is another retreat from Farish to Namche Bazaar. The ups and down trail descend through a hillside filled with rhododendron and juniper trees and cross a bridge over the Dudkoshi River. The descending journey further rapidly passes through pine forest where you can easily spot mountains goats, pheasants and other wild animals and birds common to the area. The trekking trail eventually reaches Sansa from where you can enjoy views of Ahmed de Blom, Tumzirku and Nupsi Mountains. The winding trails finally reaches to Nam Che Bazaar for another overnight stay. The 14th day trek further descends to bring you back at Lukla. The journey begins on a rocky terrain. It is mostly a downhill trek on a trail alongside the Dudkoshi River. While on the way you cross several suspension bridges, pass by several monasteries and villages before reaching at Lukla. After reaching at Lukla you spend rest of the day taking rest. It will be your last day on the mountains. After final night in mountain, you fly back to Kathmandu on the 15th day of your adventure trek. You can take an early morning flight to Kathmandu and engage yourself on some souvenir shopping. Apart from shopping and rest in Kathmandu, you can also engage yourself in exploring other areas of Kathmandu. At the evening time generally your local trekking agency gives you a farewell dinner to celebrate the successful completion of Everest Base Camp trek in the Himalayas. The 16th day generally will be your final departure from Nepal. Your trip comes to an end on the 16th day. The representative from your local adventure company will drop you off at the airport to meet your scheduled departure flight. Thank you for watching me in this informative video.